I'm Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make a tuna baguette sandwich. It's tuna salad on a baguette. Now, the baguette I'm using is just a whole grain baguette. Uh, let me just run you through the rest of the ingredients since there's so few of them. You're going to need some good quality Italian tuna in good olive oil. If you're buying a can, make sure it's in good, it's an Italian brand and it's an extra virgin olive oil. That's the only kind I buy because it's my favorite. And I've also got some finely chopped onion. I've got some parsley, some olives, some capers, some fresh arugula, a lemon, extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper. It is so simple but absolutely delicious. I love the simplicity of this and the fact that it just is the best tuna sandwich in the world, in my opinion. Now what I've done is I've cut my baguettes to half of a baguette and I've cut it and I've split it open. I'm going to drizzle it with some extra virgin olive oil and I'm going to pop this into the oven. I have it preheated at 400 for about 10 minutes. I'm just looking to toast it up a little bit. It doesn't have to be super, super toasted. I don't want it to be super, super toasted. So I'm going to pop this in and I'm going to come back and put the whole thing together. In this bowl, I'm going to put in pretty much the rest of my ingredients. This is such a good, good salad for, say, if you're going back to work or school, whatever. It's a great salad to make for lunch. Not everybody, well, I, when I grew up anyway, when I went to school, and I know that I packed lunch for my husband, and he's got like a little lunch bag that's a little cooler. And I take water bottles and put them in the freezer. That way, they work as like ice, keeps it really nice, the lunch bag nice and cold. And as the day goes on, it thaws and he has fresh bottled water. So that's how I like to pack his lunch. But this is a great, great lunch idea. I would just set the, I would just put the tuna salad and the baguette separate so it doesn't get soggy. But other than that, it's just fantastic. Serve it with a cup of fruit and you are in business. It's a great, great, yummy lunch. I don't like sacrificing good food just because I'm on the go. I'm just going to squeeze the other half of my lemon because this lemon's not very juicy, so I'm going to use a whole lemon. But if it was nice and juicy, I would probably only use half. That looks good. Okay, let me get my little my peen down there. I'm going to season this with some salt and pepper. Go easy on the salt just because you've got the briny olives and capers. You don't want to overdo it. And I'm going to drizzle in some good quality olive oil. Oh, I just love this. I love tuna. I've said it before. I eat tuna fish on a regular basis in just about every, well, most days of the week I eat tuna or chicken <laughs> for lunch, some sort of chicken or tuna dish. Now I'm going to set this aside for a few minutes or until my baguette has nice and toasted and I'm going to get it out, let it cool for a couple minutes and then we'll assemble the whole thing and give it a nice crunchy bite. My baguette was in the oven for about 10 minutes and I took it out and let it cool for about 5 minutes and I'm pretty much ready to assemble my sandwich. Now, I'm going to stress that you use whatever you like on your tuna sandwich. I mean, sandwiches, I'm trying to find the bottom, sandwiches and salads and things like that are, you know, they're tailored to whatever you like, whatever you have left over. And this is just happens to be a really classic Italian combination for tuna anyway. And it's making my mouth water just think, thinking about it. It's so yummy. I'm going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil so it's not dried out. And I'm going to spoon my gorgeous tuna mixture all over the top. Mm. Yummy. A few more leaves on top. Oh, so good. Not too, too much. A little bit more olive oil just to keep everything really moist. Put the lid on. That is a gorgeous sandwich in my opinion. You could put tomatoes on here if you wanted to. I'm not going to. Now, if you want to serve four people, you can cut these in little small pieces. If you want to serve two people, then you just cut it in half. I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to take it off this thing first, my baking sheet. I'm going to cut it in half for now. Oh, fabulous. I'm going to cut it in half again. Yeah, because I want a small piece. Because that way, I can save the rest of it. I never thought I'd hear the day when I said I'm going to cut something in half and have a small piece for now. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is so amazing. I don't know how people can eat mayo with their tuna. This is definitely my favorite tuna salad sandwich. So good. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me. Go to www.laurenandkitchen.com to get this recipe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.